Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nicole. I like plants and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. As you guys have previously seen, if you've been watching my channel for a while, that a few months ago, I decided that I was gonna grow avocado trees from seed. So if you haven't seen that video already, I'll go ahead and I'll link it in the description box below so you can go ahead and watch that after this video. I wanted to talk today about something that I'm going to be experimenting with. If you also follow my Instagram handle, I'll link it here below. You may have gotten a sneak peek of this already and people are probably wondering what the heck is this crazy lady up to? Yes, that's me, crazy. I have decided after doing plenty of research and watching multiple YouTubers do this, that I am going to take the plunge into the world of passive hydroponics. Yes, LECA, semi-hydro, whatever you call it, that's what I'm doing. And um, I'm gonna start with an avocado tree. I don't really think anybody's done this. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. If I am, definitely reach out to me. Let me know if anybody else has done this because I need some advice on it. Now, I recently saw a video over on Not Dude's channel. Adam is transferring a few of his plants over to Passive Hydroponics, and he did a better job explaining what exactly LECA is. So if you want to check that out, I'll go ahead and I'll link his video in the description box below too. I am going to be doing this on camera, so I will show you how I transfer my avocados into LECA later in this video. But first, I thought I would reach out to a friend of mine who is pretty much a genius when it comes to growing avocado trees. He's done quite a few. And he has a YouTube channel based on that alone, Avocado Trees. I'm going to call Scott over at Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. I'm just gonna ask him a few basic questions and see if he can help me out. And these might be questions that you guys might have too if you're gonna try this at home. So I hope he's there and hope he can help us. All right, let's give him a call. Hey Scott, that was fast. <laughs> How are you doing? G'day Nicole, I'm well, thank you. What can I do for you today? Well, I am growing avocado trees in Lekka. What do you feel about that? I think that's a really interesting idea. I've never tried to grow an avocado tree hydroponically before, so I think it'll be okay. an interesting experience. I have got some concerns, but I think you can probably work through it. Okay, I figured that. Avocados need really well draining soil and yeah. are really susceptible to root rot. Something that I have to be constantly aware of with my trees is root rot. Root rot mm -hmm. is when a plant's roots are in an environment which starves them of oxygen. Plants actually absorb oxygen through their roots. This can be dissolved in the soil, in the water, or in the atmosphere. But they need oxygen, otherwise right. they will literally suffocate. Right. There is also a fungus which loves wet environments and low oxygen conditions. Such conditions will kill roots, which will then kill plants. But avocado trees are often started in water, right? So yeah. what's the difference? Well, true. So long as the tree roots are clear of any dirt uh, and water is changed regularly so that new oxygen is being, or more oxygen is being introduced to the water, uh, I think you'll probably be okay. Okay. So you'll probably need to think about an experiment with changing the water so that they they don't right. rot. Um, but really, I've never heard of anyone doing this before. So I think it'll be a really interesting experience and I'm really excited to see how you go. Well, it's going to be an experiment. <laughs> I, absolutely. I don't think this has been done before. Oh my gosh. Let's do it. How exciting. Okay, so what about pruning, Scott? How do you feel about pruning these guys? Mm. I highly recommend pruning avocado trees. Avocado trees will just continue growing up in one central trunk mm. with leaves only coming out of that really tall, really flimsy if they are not pruned. Okay. I always prune my avocado trees when they get to a certain height. I find a node partway down the stem and I just cut just above the node. It's really easy to find a node with young avocado trees especially because it's anywhere where a leaf is coming out of. Oh, that's simple. Okay. And really, that's all you need to do. Oh, that's easy. It is, it feels brutal, especially after you've grown them from seed for so long, but it'll be okay. Okay, great. And how about light? I have them in a west facing window. Hmm, it sounds like you have the perfect spot for them already. Once I plant my trees in soil, they go outside and because it's so hot and sunny in Australia, the sun's so intense, they burn quite easily. So I've got these ones behind me in partial shade. They only get full sun for a few hours a day. Um, okay. But inside where the sun, is, um, the sun is a lot less strong and there's less heat, the sunniest position you can find the best, the brightest, the best. Perfect, brightest place possible. 
I think so. I'm really looking forward to seeing how you go. I am so excited. Thank you so much, Scott, for joining me today. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. And guys, if you guys have any questions, be sure to go follow Scott over on his channel, Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. He's great. He's got so much information. I'll link all of his info in the description box below. Thank you again, Scott. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Come and join me on my avocado journey. Yes, join him. All right, Scott, thanks so much, and I'll see you I'll later. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, well, that was pretty cool. I'm glad that he picked up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm ready. I think I have the information that I need and I think that we're going to pot these guys up. Let's do it. Ah! Okay, so we are going to start with a pot or a bowl. You can use glass, you can use whatever you want and just make sure it does not have a drainage hole in it because you are going to have water sit beneath the leka in this pot. So this pot is perfect actually because it has this little basin at the bottom where I'm going to be filling the water up to. And then I have this orchid pot here that I got from Amazon. And see how it has all these holes in it? This is what the leka is going to be sitting in and so is the plant. And we're gonna put it in here and then it kind of stops itself. I know it doesn't look that cute, but it works. So it stops itself from hitting all the way to the bottom because you don't want the leka to be submerged in water, you just want it to come right up to the base of the leka. So let's start by putting this over here and now we're gonna pop our leka balls into the pot here and this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can show you there. Oh, losing them. Now make sure when you buy your passive hydroponics, hydrotone, leka, whatever, um, I know Ikea sells it and it's called Oodla. Make sure that when you buy the bag, you are rinsing off the clay pellets, clay balls in water, and you're getting all that clay um, powdery residue off of them. Make sure you rinse it in a bucket and then dump the water outside. You don't want that clay water to go down your drain. All right, so we're just gonna put some in there about that much. And now I have my avocado tree. Look at the roots on this guy. Isn't that crazy? We are in business with this guy here. So I'm gonna pop him in this little pot, sit him in there just like so, and we're gonna pretty much just cover it with leka. Easy enough, right? Okay. We got it filled up to the top here. I'll show you a better angle in a second. But now I'm gonna grab my pot, put that aside, and I am going to use this pitcher over here that says, do not drink on it. <laughs> I'm going to fill this up in the pot up to about here, like I showed you before. Now the reason it says do not drink is because I have Super Thrive in my water. Now the instructions on how to use this are on the back side. I'll leave this linked below for you to pick up if you want to uh, do this yourself. But this is going to help transfer the rooted avocado plant into leka from soil. It's going to help it transition from one to the next. So we're just going to pour this in here. And then we're going to pop this right on in there. And it's literally touching right underneath the leka. Okay, now that I know how much water is going to be in there, I'm gonna pour this back into my measuring cup because what I wanna do is I want to pour this over the top of the leka. I just wanted to make sure that they weren't gonna be submerged in it. So I wanna kinda just pour this right over the top. And then it'll drain through down to the bottom. And that is it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just potted my first plant in Lekka. And let's take a look-see. Okay, there you have it. I planted my first plant in Lekka. And look at this guy. <laughs> it's looking a little wilty. I'm hoping that he perks back up. All right, I'm just gonna do the same thing with the other one and then we'll uh, chat a little bit about this. Okay, it's the next day. <laughs> I wanted to jump on here because I got so excited about my Leka planting my trees and it was just so like aesthetically pleasing and I put them in the window and then I forgot to do my outro. 
So I wanted to jump on to tell you guys that this was a really fun experiment. I will be doing a follow-up video after this one. So you guys stay tuned for that. And I know I didn't explain a lot about passive hydroponics. I didn't want this video to be about that. I just wanted it to be a simple, my first time using LECA, trying it on an avocado tree already established avocado tree and seeing how it goes. If you guys want more information on passive hydroponics, again, please check out Adam's channel, Not Dude. It'll be linked below. And then another really good channel to watch that I watched a while back when she first started was Minimalist Callie. I'll also link her information below too. They are great channels to go check out more in-depth how-tos on LECA and if you're just getting started. Mine's not. Mine's just a fun experiment. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to go subscribe to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. Check out his channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Holy moly. Mm. This is real life, guys. Happy New Year.